a quick review of Luke Cage and Iron Fist from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Big thanks to Cutthroat Cure for providing the box. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to him on Instagram and Twitch. So I'm a big fan of both Luke Cage and Iron Fist, not only from the awesome Netflix series, but from the comic books as well. Uh, so I, I like the way that these miniatures look in the art and from what I've seen online. So hopefully the, uh, the sculpts will uh, live up to that now that I have them in hand. So as you can see, the box art, as always, looks good. It's, uh, you know, we've got the miniatures displayed uh, straight in the center, looking all nice and pretty, painted up and all that. Uh, you get the requisite, of course, um, instructions. You get the cards. You get some tokens for their abilities and the sprues. Now, the instructions, of course, the uh, read this first style thing where you uh, get the get the little instructions to install it. Already, I can tell that Iron Fist is probably going to be kind of a pain in the butt, um, especially because he hangs from the dragon. But it looks like Luke Cage is going to be fairly simple. And I, I kind of like simple. Uh, that's, that's just me. Uh, so moving on to the sprues. Uh, the cool thing here is that you get two extra bases, which is awesome because I love these bases. They're really well sculpted. I, I like the way they look, I like the aesthetic of it. Now, as, as you can see, of course, Luke Cage is on a smaller sprue because he has less parts and that I enjoy less parts just so everybody knows yet again, if I can keep my hand on the sprue anyway. And as you can see, Iron Fist here is, uh, whew, yeah, he's, he's got a lot of fiddly little pieces. So that's, that's going to be fun. Uh, moving on, we have the cards and the tokens and the, uh, character cards as well. So the first thing that I'm going to go over here are the tokens. And of course, once again, just like in the core, it's on very thick card stock, which is very good. And uh, it's double sided, easy to punch. The cards, excellent art, love the art. Uh, they're doing really well on the direction of the art. Uh, the only thing that I have that is a complaint the card wise for both the character cards and the ability cards are is is the print because the the print is just a little bit small it's not that big of a deal um, you know but I, I wear glasses and I'm blind so a little bigger would be nice now moving on um, to the assembly of Luke Cage here uh, the of course, the uh, you know the the being less pieces, it was way easy to put together. It's just the torso bits, the arms, the two legs put together, and then the head, and you are pretty much done. It's it's uh, it's fairly simple. It's very straightforward. And of course, I used the for Luke Cage anyway. I used one of the bases that has the sidewalk attached to it. Now for Iron Fist. Because of the fact that he's on that dragon and it's got those little explosions or flanges or whatever the hell it is on the bottom, I use the flat base for Iron Fist uh, just to give him a little more room. Now, the only thing I had to do with Luke Cage is there were a couple of places where I had to add some sprue goo. And sprue goo is just a very uh, small amount of sprue added to plastic cement and what that does is make just a very moldable mailable plastic that you can just brush into recesses and then you can take some plastic cement some actual like the liquid stuff and just smooth it out really quick so that's not too big of a deal it really wasn't that big of a gap and honestly probably paint would have probably covered it but i just wanted to cover all bases here now, as you can see here, uh, of course, with the feet, because in, in any joint that is going to be problematic, I usually will put su uh, super glue. I use Gorilla Glue on that. Um, now, moving on to Iron Fist, 
it was kind of a pain just because of all the small pieces you had to add together. Not as bad as Ultron, mind you, piecewise, uh, but there were some bits where I had to kind of wiggle them in there a little more than you would on a slightly uh, less piece-heavy miniature. The big issue that I had was getting the little pieces that go on the bottom of the dragon to stay. So what I ended up doing is kind of gluing the dragon on, and I, I fiddled with it for a little bit, but I ended up gluing the dragon down and then repositioning the little fins or the explosion or whatever the heck it is. I, I really have to look at the art for that. But um, I had to attach those and kind of move them around afterward as a, as I was putting everything in. In the end, it ended up uh, working out really well. But this, uh, you know, the Iron Fist model is just a little more um, complicated than the Captain Marvel miniature that I put together or the even the Ultron. Now... The, the head of the dragon, the body of the dragon, that was just fine. It didn't really, you know, give me any issues. Uh, like I said, though, it was just that that small part. And, and you will see here that uh, <laughs> I, I am going to struggle a little bit trying to get everything in, trying to get everything lined up because, I, you know, I didn't think to just go ahead and, and just glue the dragon down and then just put the, the little, you know, small fin pieces on afterward which probably would have been the smarter thing to do. But of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. All in all, uh, I have to say that these are really, really nice miniatures with a whole lot of good detail. So it's it really, even considering uh, having to kind of wiggle things around and move things around, uh, it, it's they're still very good models and and I and I you know I still like Iron Fist's pose you know where he his fist is literally the dragon that's coming around very well sculpted I, I have to give them that that's it, it, it's just a beautiful miniature it's just kind of a pain in the butt to put together a little bit it wasn't too big of a deal it wasn't too you know I'm not gonna cry about it obviously but um, it's just something to look out for when you're putting yours together. Now, as you can see here, this is this is where I finally realize that it's just time to put him put it down there and just kind of, you know, wiggle the fins around a little bit <laughs> to get everything settled down a little better. And uh, you know, the, I kind of struggle with my fingers a little bit not working well, but you know, it's not so bad. So anyway, uh, those are my thoughts. Excellent models, definitely worth the time to put together. If you like what you see, uh, like and subscribe, and consider joining me on Patreon. Thank you.